ഹലോ ക്യാൻ യു ഹിയർ മീ താങ്ക് യു സർ ഹലോ യെസ് സർ യു ഹിയർ യു ഓക്കേ ഗ്രേറ്റ് സോ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഫെമിലിയർ ഓഡിയൻസ് ഫോർ മീ ഐ മീൻ സോ യു നോ യു ഓൾറെഡി നോ മീ ജസ്റ്റ് എ മിനിറ്റ് ഐറ്റ്സ് യാ ഐ തിങ്ക് for some of you it's like a kind of a review uh so for those who are you know uh attending this ddnt for first time you know i'll be covering uh, and i think it's it's a more mature ad- audience in the sense that uh, uh with the experience so i'll be uh, i'll try to cover a little more uh in uh, part 1 and part 2 so uh, basically you know uh okay product development uh i, I think many of you have seen this kind of uh, uh, product development uh, uh, cycle or like a, you know uh, it's it's a it's a uh, for a single part you know comes from the design then tooling then goes to production and inspection and it goes to the assembly so in between uh, you know uh, you have the pricing uh, i mean pricing from the raw materials and what are overheads goes in then uh, i mean all the uh, um, you know manufacturing costs everything you know uh, then uh, the planning uh, i mean pricing and planning comes uh, initially then goes the routing uh, routing means uh, uh it's it's the uh, way the path the product takes in the sense from the raw material to the finished one so it, it there is a chart for that it's called a routing chart so it it it, uh, it it contains all the paths like uh, uh, first it goes to uh, like a lathe then it goes to grinding machine and then it goes to passivation or whatever process uh, you know heat treatment whatever like that so it it goes so uh, Uh, so uh, basically the uh, with the routing chart you can track uh, uh, you know e- each and every process and uh, uh, you know um, basically uh, even the uh, uh, the operators uh, uh, put uh, like how many passes how many rejects and like that after each uh, process you know so uh, uh, finally it goes to inspection and you know uh, you know it's it, it's like that so each uh, part has a routing chart and in, in, in even in assembly it goes through so it, it, it's it's for the sub, sub assembly or the uh, the 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 full complete assemb- assembly whatever it is you know so what exactly is uh, gdnt you know um, basically when when a part goes through it, it you know it has you have to or you have to uh, communicate with uh, from basically your design intent to each and every step so without any ambiguity or uh, errors you know so um, gdnt reduces uh, errors significantly so it's it's a kind of language so uh, it's a language uh, with symbols basically you know it's a universal language between design manufacturing and quality and uh, it conveys exactly what the designer uh, en- envisioned or thought of then uh, it min- minimizes the vari- variance in interpretation basically you know uh, it should i mean for example if i am the design guy and rahul is uh, somebody up in the shop floor or you know uh, uh, the in, the, in, in the inspection there should shouldn't be any different in understanding so uh, both uh, of us has to understand in the same way so gdnd helps in that and it reduces the amount of error so how uh, this it um, you know affects the or minimizes the uh, interpretation errors i'll i'll come to that you know 
so uh, basically uh, if somebody is in the uh, inspection or uh, whatever shop floor uh, it gives that how the part should be oriented uh, in measurements and all all those things will come later on and base and of course because of uh, reduce it reduces the amount of error it reduces uh, manufacturing and inspection cost so uh, basically uh, if if you go by the ordinary uh, like limit dimensioning there is a chance that uh, good parts get rejected and ba bad parts can get accepted so th that's that's why you know gdnd helps a lot in that and those who have taken the uh, you know uh, design for uh, uh, manufacturing and assembly it, you know i think uh, it, it stresses on gdnd or uh, if if you you know so we'll you know come to each other gdnd can't make a, a bad design good but it can def definitely identify a bad design but, you know even uh, when you are designing if you are not uh, able to basically you you um, uh, uh, assign uh, various function or datums or uh, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, your uh, tolerances and everything based on the function you know how the a single part goes to assembly or how it works and how uh, the uh, if, if there is any rotation or uh, you know uh, uh, back and forth motion of the part then uh, uh, those things uh, you can easily uh, you know control or basically you, the quality can be controlled basically so it can definitely identify a bad design uh, before it results in needless uh, wastage of expensive parts uh, you know otherwise it you know, your scrap ratio will go, go up you know so uh, it, a lot of companies in the sense all the biggies are uh, going for gdnt so uh, let me see whether i uh, just a minute Uh, it's little uh, slowing down. Uh, let me. Okay. Okay. Camera is. I think you can see me. So that's what I was looking for. So. Little slow down. I I don't know what why why the you know it's is it because of the bandwidth or you know uh, so hopefully you, you you guys don't have any problem out there. Uh, so a lot of big companies like General Electric, you know, all the uh, airline industry or uh, you know uh, the aerospace industries, then uh, like Honeywell, uh, you know, Allied System, BAE, General Dynamics, then uh, the automobile or sector like uh, you know John Deere, uh, they they. Ma Manufacture uh, farm equipment, then uh, Bosch and Lom and uh, Ford Motors. You know, uh, then even in uh, uh, electronics, IBM, uh, Siemens, uh, uh, then uh, you know the the engine manufacturers like uh, Pratt and Whitney, or Rolls Royce, uh, and all. So it's 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 a lot of companies uh, that are uh, y using uh, GDNT, and this this comes from uh, ASME basically the the source the source coming from. So, uh, so even if uh, some companies manufacturing uh, as, or who's a company that's a supplier or a supplier uh, to these biggies, uh, then they uh, they should be following GDNT as well. So, what are the standards? Basically, you have the U.S. standard that's the topmost one, then the uh, European standard and the Indian standard. So. Uh, after this, I mean, ASME Y14.5 2009 and the uh, ISO uh, uh, 11001, uh, you know, or, sorry, um, the, uh, 
1101 uh, 2017 uh, uh, you know uh, basically uh, both these are pretty much the same in the sense that almost all notations I mean maybe little uh, ISO may go a uh, little more depth in certain cases that is uh, for sampling and all which we are not uh, you know that's uh, re related to quality thing and so uh, but uh, ASME has other specifications covering that those kind of things so uh, it's it's like uh, you know um, and uh, I, IS is just uh, say kind of a uh, you know looking back into these two sp specifications so uh, you know uh, maybe there may be companies but most of them are following the US and the uh, uh, European uh, IS standards so the SME stand, I will be going through the SME, uh, which 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 will in turn is uh, you know agrees with the ISO as well. So uh, the US standard is for uh, dimensioning and tolerancing, uh, the, um, the engineering drawing and related documented uh, documentation practices. So may, may, maybe I'll show you the standard at the end. I have the copies, uh, soft copies. So I'll just uh, you know show you. Um, then uh, the the other one is the geometrical uh, product specification or GPS, not the global position positioning system. It's the geometrical product specification and uh, on uh, to uh, geometrical tolerancing and uh, tolerances of form, orientation, location, and runoff. Basically, it, it, it these are the main ones. So, you know, so these are the uh, specifications uh, that or the standards that uh, uh, like it, it, it's a kind of a kind of Bible or uh, you know um, Quran or you know or Ramayana kind of uh, thing. So it's 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 so but, oh, basically what uh, a general definition means that it's a structured lam language of symbols. So it's a, it's a communication language between the designer and the rest of the uh, uh, departments. So a, a structured language of symbols, rules, and definitions that allows the geometrical features of mechanical parts to be defined according to uh, functional limitations, limits of imperfection. So why the imperfection is there? You know, uh, basically, uh, what uh, a designer thinks or env envisions is a perfect part, right? Uh, there is no. Uh, 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 you know, uh, error, error in the sense that uh, there is no deviation from the perfect form. That is the nominal uh, uh, dimension. So, but because you cannot build a perfect part, even there is a minute deviation, you know, uh, even to the micron level or, or something like that. Even if, if, even if you go by the uh, most perfect processes, you'll get, get some micron level. That is 10 raised to minus 6 to the uh, power uh, de deviation. That, uh, you know, because that is called imperfection. So basically, it it, it is defining the in, uh, how much imperfection you can go. That is uh, the meaning of this one. So uh, this is the uh, the second one is the um, ASME specified uh, uh, definition. Uh, basically, this stand it says that this standard establishes uniform practices for stating and interpret in interpreting, dimensioning, tolerancing, and re uh, related uh, requirements for use in engineering drawing and related documents. Okay, so uh, 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 those who are in the engineering field or design field they know that uh, it's it's not only the drawings there are a lot of uh, other related documents that goes with that so uh, you know uh, it can be the uh, uh, basically uh, the each uh, revision of the drawing goes through a engineering change request so uh, you know it, it is called ecm or uh, ecr or uh, there is another another uh, name to uh, in, uh, name some some uh, you know ECM also I, 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 yeah so yeah so basically what it does is that uh, in the if it if you are really uh, or releasing the the first re, uh, re, or the, without any revision that is called the initial revision uh, or in, in, in initial release uh, which you don't need to substantiate or if, if you are changing it you have to uh, tell uh, what changes have been made so so there is a proper uh, you know uh, like um, uh, uh, what do you call it um, a, a proper way of uh, 
like uh, uh, recording all these things you know so uh, it's has, or records are very important in the sense that uh, 10 years or 20 years down the lane uh, if somebody wants to look back into the design and uh, see what happened why these changes were made uh, they, they can look up these ones nowadays all companies are making this uh, kind of uh, soft copies so it's it, everything is available in the ser in their servers so they can look why it happened and like that. because by that time the original engineer would have retired or you know uh, gone to uh, some some other or got uh, into, into another company or whatever you know so uh, and uh, there are other documents that uh, that can be specified is uh, the specifications it can be the material specification as well as uh, certain uh, machining specification for example if you, if you have uh, titanium alloys uh, there 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 is a specific uh, 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 you know um, uh, i think um, most companies have uh, a specification to uh, make sure that uh, the titanium alloys are uh, machined properly because uh, th there is a uh, uh, they are sub uh, you know subjected to uh, abusive machining in the sense that if you don't machine it with the proper way uh, it, it can create stress concentration and later failure of the part. So, so, so titanium is such a uh, you know material. Similarly, there are uh, uh, process specification as well as material specification. So uh, uh, you know uh, how uh, the material uh, has to be pro uh, procured. Uh, so there there are ASTM then uh, ASM, uh, uh, then IS standards are there, uh, then SM, uh, 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 SAE standards are there. So a lot of uh, standards are there, out there in there. So th those are the related documents. So uh, this is how a drawing looks like in a conventional system. You know, you can see that it's limit dimensioning. Everything is, uh, you know, plus or minus kind of thing, even the uh, the degrees, you know. So, so the same part uh, in uh, GDNT looks like this. For example, this one is the position uh, tolerance, where uh, this, uh, you know, it, it determines the position of this uh, uh, circle or hole or on the flange. Basically, it's a flange with a threaded end on one side. Uh, so you can see that uh, uh, these, these uh, will come to that later, you know, just to understand this position is controlling the uh, the position of all the, the circles. Basically, you have eight circles in there, right? Eight holes, basically, you know, bolt holes. So th these, these are controlled by basic dimensions because these dimension, the variation of this degree as well as uh, this uh, length, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I think here it is controlled by the uh, this circle, you know, basic circle. So this diameter, this plus and minus, is determined by uh, this uh, dimension. And uh, you know, so um, here the uh, the whole variation is not determined. So uh, in the sense that the whole variation is, uh, you have to uh, mention it separately. Only the position is controlling by this uh, uh, GDNT uh, box over here. So this uh, uh, box or the position is con uh, controlling uh, this base cir uh, circle or the, this norm nominal circle as well as uh, this ankle, basically, basically how these are, are arranged uh, in a, in a uh, two dimension two D kind of thing. So what else you have? Uh, you have uh, uh, the datum A over here, uh, which which is this one, uh, th this uh, this flange, because uh, it, uh, it it mates with a, a, a similar flange on the other side. Uh, you know that's why uh, you have taken it as datum A, where you are constraining it, and everything is with respect to the datum A. Then you have datum B, which is the inside inside. Uh, uh, th this through hole over here, you know, kind of uh, uh, piping or whatever comes in comes in here. And then uh, you have a uh, datum C is there, which is the uh, a, uh, you know kind of a relief hole uh, for uh, uh, for this flange basically. So that is the datum C. So uh, usually you select uh, three mutually perpendicular directions for the datum but uh, you know it doesn't uh, matter uh, but 
you you can choose your functional uh, uh, datums. Basically, even you can go more than uh, three. So if if a part, I'll I'll show you uh, maybe in this one or the next 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 class. So you have uh, the perpendicularity called out here. He, here it's the flatness. Uh, you uh, you know uh, pr uh, the for the primary uh, datum you call uh, uh, typically the flatness and all. It, it doesn't need a datum call out. So that's why it's it's uh, you know it's it's applied to primary datum. And then you have the perpendicularity over here. The how the uh, how the per uh, perpendicular the hole should be with respect to uh, the datum. So uh, I think uh, if this is the flying surface and this is the hole, you know how it it, it is per perpendicular. So th there are a couple of uh, other options as well. Uh, as a designer, uh, you you may have to select based on your design intent. Uh, you know, so and then uh, what is how the parallelism between. Uh, Two surfaces. That is this outside surface and the data map. Again, the position of the uh, 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 the threads. It's a metric thread. Where uh, you know. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah, sure. So this uh, uh, there is a b b b dimension. I mean, b, is the, the, b is the datum, right? B is this one. Uh, oh, sorry. This is the datum, right? Well, uh, you can see my yes. cursor, yes. cursor, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. So, um, so in that in that box, it is they have shown some uh, some symbols have been shown. What would be the meaning of it? There, there are some symbols shown that uh, box which you have just. Okay, I'll come. To, I'll come to that. Basically, oh. I'll be you know, <laughs> just oh. explaining uh, early. You know, so uh, um, so I'll come to that. I, I think okay. I'll we'll come back to this uh, one. Uh, so it's it, it. This is how the datums are represented. It's it's a uh, uh, you know a filled triangle, uh, kind of then a line and then a box. That's how datums are re represented. So I'll come to that. So so uh, so I uh, you know I'll come to that. So don't 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 worry about that. You know. So then we'll come back to the drawing again. You know. Yeah, so I I think uh, I I shown everything in, in in upfront. That's why you know <laughs> maybe there is a confusion. So I'll, I'll I'll first come you know tell how datums are and how they are specified and then and then uh, later and then you know just to uh, uh, have a feel of all these things I uh, I, sh I have shown it. So it, don't uh, get boggled by that. Yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll uh, see why. Uh, what is the why uh, that you need uh, GDNT? You know, so I'll uh, I'll uh, come. To, so basically, this is the dim limit dimensioning, where uh, you have ten plus or minus one. Uh, like it can vary between nine millimeter to eleven millimeter, right? So bas basically, you have two uh, boundaries. Uh, so the internal uh, on the right side figure in on the, the internal blue one is the minimum uh, boundary and the uh, outside red is the maximum. So we'll uh, call it uh, uh, the minimum is called the least material condition and the max uh, the outer boundary is called the maximum material condition. It may vary for in internal features. So uh, I'll uh, stress more on LMC, which is the least material condition, and MMC, material material maximum material condition, uh, in the co coming uh, part uh, part two basically. So uh, so what exactly is that if uh, MMC is when you when you have the when you fill the maximum that is 11 by 11 you will have the ma maximum weight or the maximum material right that that is called the maximum material condition so just uh, if you add more material and it, it comes to the boundary then it, it will call the max uh, you know maximum material condition which is which for an external one it is the outside one for an internal one it's the uh, inside one so uh, w when there is a hole you will have maximum material when the hole is small so you know maximum material comes in there uh, so uh, uh, we'll uh, you know i'll, I'll uh, stress most of this uh, you know so don't worry if you can catch it not right now so uh, there is a uh, uh, what is the rule number one uh, in it, it states that unless others spe otherwise specified you know uh, that means when uh, nothing specified, uh, the limits of the size, that is this one, uh, 
10 plus or minus uh, 1 or 9 to 11 that limit uh, controls the uh, or uh, limits of the size of an individual feature that that is like this one controls the form of the feature as well as the size size form means uh, what kind of shape it takes you know even though you are uh, specifying a, a per perfect uh, uh, what do you call uh, a square i would say <laughs> just I think it's just perfect so in whatever variation it can take place you are controlling that is called the form or shape of the this one and size size means you know what uh, how much it is like that 11 by 11 or 11 by 9 or you know 9 by 11 or 8 i mean uh, 10 by 10.5 uh, like, like that so th that is the size and uh, shape means uh, the form means the shape uh, whether it, it is slightly deviated from uh, the uh, square so th that's what uh, the uh, rule number so they uh, on, uh, if you are specifying just limit dimensioning, everything is controlled by uh, that uh, two boxes there. So it, everything has to fall with, with the, within that. So uh, so basically, uh, you need, if you say in other way, uh, it's the it's a variation in form allowed between the least material condition, which is the inside box, to the outside box, which is the maximum material condition. You, you can see that you know uh, so uh, any variation can take place uh, if you are just uh, uh, telling the uh, uh, limit dimension anything can vary between the box you can you have to accept it because that's how the drawing says so even if uh, it, it it doesn't work or uh, you know so uh, basically if, if you if, if you if your part put can uh, you know uh, you can put in that envelope you know between the maximum material and the minimum uh, or least material condition uh, you, uh, you know that that's how that you know so it's it's, it's a kind of little exaggeration so uh, you know to make sure you know so so, so some, many engineering cases you you may not need or uh, you don't want this one you know that's why so it can vary from a uh, uh, you know uh, a parallelogram to trapezoid to a kind of a rhombus kind of uh, you know uh, state so so th those variations are allowed within the uh, limits. That's the first uh, uh, no, rule number one. So if you see, that was uh, what we saw earlier was a two-dimensional one. And now you have a three-dimensional one here. So uh, you have uh, uh, on, this, uh, on the, the, the side view here, so it, the, your part can vary between the upper limit and the lower limit, you know. So uh, the actual part can vary like like this. So it's 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 just uh, you know uh, it's it's an it's a slightly ex exaggerated kind of thing. Nobody gives this much as uh, limit, but still uh, many parts can't function if you just specify the limit di di dimension. And uh, what happens is that then uh, uh, you know um, the design engineer will go for tighter tolerances then you cannot manufacture the part so that's the problem so you are on either on this way or th that way so that's why you need the gdnt which which uh, actually helps in manufacturing you know it gives uh, uh, certain bonus allowances and bonus tolerances if you keep it within certain ranges that is uh, that is what mmc and uh, or maximum material condition or uh, lm uh, lms least uh, uh, you know uh, material condition will do so uh, you can see that you know it's it's what's uh, you have something part and uh, again it's like exa it's exaggerated to to make make you think about it you know uh, it, it may not be uh, the outcome may not be what what you want so that's that's the and uh, uh, limit dimensioning you uh, it's i you know uh, it's applicable or uh, you, you you can just go with that Excuse for very uh, you know uh, uh, simple uh, designs or simple as the design complexity increases you need to be i'm sorry sir in the in the previous diagram uh -huh. when you have when you have shown the limits uh, if uh, it is shown 2 plus uh, minus 0. 0.6 no Which one? The, the, the next one is it this one no next next okay no sir the next one not previous but next one go, go can go down this further oh oh no not this one right not this not this, the other direction this one 
two slides. You, two you mean forward. two slides? Two slides forward. Okay. This. Next, next one. Yes, yes. Uh huh. So in this one, sir, in this picture, the orthographic view is the front view. Uh, the two uh -huh. mm two point uh, zero and uh, plus or minus point zero one zero. Uh, when it becomes distorted, uh, in that case, the entire uh, geometry changes. But if can this problem be solved by reducing the uh, the tolerances? I mean, the limits, the range. That that's what typically goes. And GDND, I mean, and then your manufacturer say that we cannot manufacture it. You have oh. to go for costlier processes. Uh, okay. You know, if, if, if you have uh, you know seen my uh, uh, you know DFMA course. You know, always, yes. you know, you have to think about manufacturing, manufacturing. Right? how it yes. goes. So uh, yes. avoid costlier processes. I mean, so DDNT will help that, help in that basically. So okay. you you can uh, get all the uh, um, you know function or quality you want from DDNT if you uh, you know specify it properly. You know, so uh, so uh, it, uh, uh, I think by uh, next class you will understand why because yeah, there are some bonus tolerances that you will get if you keep it within a limit. You know, uh, so I, I'll, I will come to that. Okay. Sir. So yeah. Thanks. So yeah, uh, the limit dimensioning. You know, the limitations are uh, you know it, it it it's the success rate is high for something as simple as a pin. And low for something as you go. Uh, it's a complex part. So for aerospace and everything, you need DDNT. You know that's what you know. So just a kind of a overview. So uh, what if uh, you know there is no DDNT? You know uh, you have the simplest drawing. Then the part doesn't fit. You know no form. Then as you said, uh, you know you have to tighten the tolerance. Then you cannot manufacture with your traditional methods. You know then uh, you have to outsource for costly or something, or you have to buy a costlier machine. So that's that's uh, you know that adds to your worries, right? So uh, that's that's what you know. Uh, it says that in the problems in the real world, you have to address it uh, with uh, you know DDNT can do that. So many times it becomes so simple that uh, you can with the DDNT you can uh, measure uh, uh, parts with uh, like a stencil kind of thing. You know, uh, it's a, that that's what profile tolerances does, uh, and we'll, we'll we'll come to that. You know, so uh, we we already saw the rule number one, which states that uh, you know uh, unless otherwise specified, if nothing is specified, that means that nothing is specified. The limits of the size of individual feature controlled. Basically, your MMC and the LMC controls the uh, the uh, the f uh, form of the feature, means the shape as well as the size, you know, the variation. So uh, basically, you have two limits here, you know, uh, 0.26 and 0.24. Those diameters control the shape as well as you know the, this shape as well as the the cha changes. Everything is controlled with within that. That's uh, how it is interpreted. And this is uh, another thing, you know. Uh, when uh, there is, there are, you know, without GDNT, you don't know, or uh, your inspector, uh, the quality inspector, uh, or uh, the machinist may not know how uh, how to orient your part and you know do the inspection. Uh, the, the datum specifies those things, so GDNT helps in. So, an example is here. This is what and it was designed. So, when you manufacture, there is a deviation. So, if you uh, put the lower limb uh, or the lower, uh, you know, the shorter portion uh, down and then measure it, it, it will get rejected. But if you do the other way, you know. Uh, keep the uh, the longer uh, limb uh, you know down on on a on a desk or what you call it the granite table uh, you know usually uh, granite is the uh, or highly machined uh, uh, you know cast or steel uh, uh, platform uh, they, 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 that's how you uh, use you if you if you have gone to uh, a quality department or you know inspection department you'll find granite table there granite uh, is the uh, keringel so it's it's very sm smoothly polished. Why granite? Because uh, it uh, it it, uh, it won't change much much with temperature, and it keeps uh, and it's hard as well. Uh, 
so you keep it in a granite table and then measure it that's how uh, it does even uh, cnc has the the uh, the bed made of um, uh, or um, uh, made of uh, not um, not cnc cmm and a coordinate machine measuring machine uh, which uh, had have their bed made of granite so uh, G gdnt uh, you know uh, basically avoids this one like uh, it, it avoids um, a variation in orientation it specifies what orientation it has to be measured everything you know so and now i uh, will come to a uh, datum so uh, datum uh, you know where you constrained uh, i think if you have uh, some of those um, uh, drawing uh, you know uh, softwares like freecad or uh, so solidworks or so, you know they will they will they will uh, um, uh, i re recently used only the freecad one uh, because it's free uh, I, I don't have any license as of now uh, for any other ones uh, so it it, it asks you to constrain so it, it asks you, I mean, uh, tell that, okay, this one is over constraining and like that. So uh, basically it's, it's similar. You are constraining uh, the part uh, so, so that the, with respect to the datums. So the, there are six degrees of freedom. One, uh, you can see that, you know, X uh, plus X minus X, you know, it can go uh, in X direction both ways. Then it can rotate in uh, to clockwise or anti-clockwise in uh, uh, X direction. It, similarly, it can do Y and uh, is, is a direction. That's how the six degrees of freedom comes from. You know, to, one is linear uh, and one is rotation for each axis. So uh, the movement along each axis, each axis cont contributes one free, uh, degree. So you have three degrees there. Then rotation uh, again, uh, it, it uh, contributes another uh, three three degrees on each one on each on each axis. So Part motion must be constrained, you know, to al allow measurement of geometrical features. That's how, you know, how you measure and how you ma machine. And even even uh, when you uh, specify GDNT, the machinist will know which uh, side they have to machine first. So if I if you have uh, if you have seen the flange, right? So they machine it, uh, you know, keep it. Uh, there and machine the uh, the uh, flange side first in most cases because uh, that that's from there everything has to go on so it gives uh, uh, a, a straightforward forward uh, you know idea to the machinist as well as to where to start start with you know so which is the important feature so uh, what are datums? Uh, they are theoretically perfect points, lines, or planes. So it can be points, or it can be lines or planes. So it's it's used in designing, um, you know, as as a design engineer, then tool tooling as a tooling engineer, then manufacturing, manufacturing engineer, inspecting or quality engineer, then assembly assembly line, you know, of uh, components and sub assemblies basically. Sometimes uh, um, it it I'll come to that later. So. It, Typically, datum exists within a structure of three mutually perfect. As I said, uh, you, know, you should typically, unless otherwise uh, there is no other uh, uh, intent, uh, you select three mutually perpendicular axes. Sometimes you will go with just uh, one datum or two data. For a pin and all, uh, you don't need the all to specify. It's it's like over constraining, right? Just a pin. Uh, yeah, here it is. So if it is some something like simple, you may just specify one one or this as your data, and the rest everything is goes based on that. You know, but, but just a simple pin. So uh, it depends on the part as well as uh, the uh, the function and and fit. Uh, basically, fit, form, and function. These three uh, Fs are very important. You know, fit means how uh, each fit together. You know, the, that uh, and form means the shape. And function means how it functions, whether it is rotating, reciprocating, or whatever like that. Yeah. So uh, as I said, it's it's typically the three mutually perpendicular direction. You, it's like a, a you uh, you know universal way to start with uh, the letter A, 
a b c like that so uh, some, uh, when you have an assembly drawing you you have uh, uh, you know a b c then uh, another part it will be uh, d e f li like that goes so it can go uh, you know beyond uh, the, the z like that but don't use i o and q because it it will be confused with other other things you know i will be confused with one o uh, will be confused with zero and q will be confused with theta theta which is angle and all so basically you you don't use i o and q you can use double letters as well. a a b a c a d like that and b i mean uh, uh, <laughs> some of the complex drawings that goes you know uh, uh, um, like b b i have seen, seen some of those like that you know so uh, don't uh, expect like you know so uh, typically designers start from the assembly drawing so that's why uh, uh, another thing is that if uh, yeah, uh, you don't want to confuse with you um, know when you when you have two parts or multiple parts you don't uh, if you specify a here and a here uh, for these two component drawings then during assembly uh, that there may be confusion so to avoid that they start from the assembly uh, like this thing and give uh, in sequential order uh, like a b c like, like that for and for the com sub components like like that so uh, you know as datums continue this is uh, the typical uh, sim sim simple or methodology for uh, showing the datum a with with a square bracket or a or whatever uh, you know datum symbol uh, with, with a closed uh, means a, a line and a uh, closed um, triangle so it's it's common for asme and iso so uh, you know you select uh, functional datums basic basically how the part functions or sometimes you uh, select datums based on fit as well suppose if it is an interference or very uh, you know it is like a moving part then uh, that uh, area or uh, that uh, profile or uh, that uh, you know uh, surface will uh, will be very important so uh, based on that uh, you select no oh sorry that uses the product features to physically locate the part with to the final pr uh, product so basically how the it it comes in the assembly that's what it here it states and then uh, use any other datum uh, uh, using an add variation in final tolerance okay you have to uh, uh, look at uh, tolerance stack up uh, i i'll show you um, uh, in the next one uh, because um, uh, so, uh, I, typically you dimension from in a particular way you know c compared to the you know uh, like uh, in, a, in in your design and engineering uh, that you have studied in uh, the bachelor's degree and all uh, it, it's 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 uh, it's it's more controlled or methodological or you know you fo follow a method uh, that to avoid uh, uh, stack uh, stack ups because uh, when uh, you know uh, so many uh, uh, dimensioning are there or uh, you know uh, then uh, they can add to st uh, stack stack up means uh, like variation so much of variation that uh, it fails in the assembly so th that's what called uh, the stack up so you have to avoid that stack up so i'll sh show you next time uh, i think i may have one from previous one but i'll i'll show you uh, next time so how the features be controlled basically you can control the size that is plus or minus then the form you know what shape then orientation how it is oriented you know then location where exactly so uh, you can see the uh, buttons of this uh, you know uh, regulator or the you know uh, remote in there so these the position of these each button uh, is 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 by location where exactly it is you know how it can vary so uh, typically you uh, select this as the datum and the central line as the datum and then goes uh, representing this this uh, position of these uh, buttons in there and these you know this is very important one uh, or uh, basically uh, these are uh, the very important symbols and uh, most commonly used symbols uh, uh, in gdnt so there are uh, uh, three uh, you know types there one is individual ones 
uh, you don't need to refer any datum for these symbols you know then uh, this one uh, it oops uh, it where uh, profile uh, where you can with uh, no represent with re with respect to a datum or uh, you uh, not no that depends then related all these uh, symbols you know the last three uh, you know uh, rows uh, they are all uh, you have to mention a datum to uh, call, calling those now so the first one uh, it, these are mentioned for the primary datum you know data may or which if it is the primary then you have to uh, mention the surface with respect to flatness so flatness is uh, nothing but the smoothness of the of the uh, this thing i'll uh, uh, you know um, I'll talk about it m uh, much later uh, in the i think in the next one so basically it's it's, it's a kind of a surface a roughness or a surface finish kind of thing but it's more than that surface finish is like uh, the it's uh, you know it's it's very um, yeah, uh, it's it's a kind of a shorter wavelength, right? Uh, shorter wavelength means I I I just press press it or just uh, touch my finger here, so it's very smooth. So that 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 is surface finish. You know, flatness means much more than that. That means it's on over a length. So it it has a much uh, uh, you know length or it's it's called the waviness. You know, so how the surface it 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 it, it, it is uh, based on uh, manufacturing basically so if uh, if there is a tool chatter or you know vibration this waviness will increase so uh, you won't get so so controlling all those will get a, uh, a flat uh, part and it, it's it's it, again it's as it is uh, 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 based on uh, the machine uh, so uh, the flatness uh, higher the flatness uh, you know higher uh, the, you, you have to go for the costlier uh, machines or processes like that then uh, the second one is straightness straightness means how straight uh, uh, your uh, part is uh, out the, this one you know so uh, how straight it, it is you know uh, deviation from uh, the, uh, the 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 a straight line all right you know kind of uh, then circularity means the it, it's the it's controlling the feature is controlled is the circle so how uh, the uh, whether it can uh, you know change from an oval shape to uh, so it, it as uh, as the rule number one says that you can uh, you know deviate between the outer and the insert insert inner ones right the maximum material condition and the uh, least material uh, condition so uh, the, the, it can go from oval to a perfectly circle circular shape that is called circularity so if you add circularity and straightness you'll get cylindricity uh, straightness comes from length right and circularity on over a particular sec section so cylindricity control the entire thing like like entire feature where uh, you know uh, the it controls the circularity as well as uh, the uh, the straightness so instead of calling circularity and straightness separately you can just con call cylindricity with one 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 way or, or one go then uh, uh, what is profile profile means uh, shape so how this shape is whether it is flat or it, you, you, uh, especially uh, you know something like this uh, you need to control the entire thing you don't you don't need to control each and every one right so you you use uh, uh, profile so uh, what you uh, do is that you define a nominal uh, 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 what do you call it uh, shape and with respect to you can uh, the profile can vary from uh, you know a higher limit to a low, lower limit or maximum material to minimum material condition that's that's how the profile is called out so it can be line profile line profile means it it applies only to one section one section uh, it, it's the line profile and surface profile means everything over it you know the uh, the the complete length just like uh, circularity and cylindricity you have a uh, line profile and uh, sur surface profile so everywhere uh, you know this variation uh, has to be taken into then what you have is this perpendicularity perpendicularity means how one uh, one thing is perpendicular to another one another surface you know uh, just like uh, you know this and angularity and ang uh, perpendicularity is a special case of angularity where uh, you know the angle is 90 degrees so uh, for all other angles you have uh, you know uh, this angularity call out 
in there and parallelism again the if the angles uh, it's, it's if it is infinity then it's parallel right so for a, if the angle between two surfaces are infinity uh, you know you get parallelism so that that's what par parallelism orientation basically how uh, you know each two surfaces are uh, basically you know uh, like 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 that then uh, run out run out um, i'll uh, tell you uh, in a uh, video uh, just uh, think that uh, i think uh, you might have seen the dial indicator uh, where you have a dial a needle and there's a plunger or a probe uh, that goes uh, i mean if, if you put the probe in on this surface it i mean based on the uh, you know finish or the uh, the shape it, it will go up and down so this needle will uh, uh, you know what it measures is the run out so what i'll do is that i'll uh, put this uh, dial indicator here and then rotate the part so for one complete rotation you will get the one uh, you know uh, uh, i'm sorry uh, one uh, or uh, the circular run out which is the one um, arrow there if, if it is uh, two arrows that means total run out that means it it goes from one uh, in, uh, over the length so i have to measure not only uh, you know uh, put this plunger like this uh, with measurement uh, also goes goes i have to take different areas so over here i'll get one one measurement then another measurement full rotation on all 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 uh, you know places then that that is called the total run out uh, let me um, show you the um, the video so it, it doesn't have any voice uh, so don't bother about that so just to show that you know So th this is how the runout is measured. You can see that the the uh, the needle will go up and down based on uh, the the su surface. How the you know it, so it, it's it's uh, runout is used. So I'll show you again. Uh, it's it's a small video, you know. So uh, um, here it is a chuck. Uh, you know, in uh, in uh, inspection or the quality, what you do is that I'll keep it in a V block. V block means it's it's, it's in the shape of a V. I uh, keep it in a V block and rotate it. That's how uh, I do it for inspection. So uh, runout is just like uh, you you can uh, call runout. Or cylindricity, you know. So de depending on your um, needs, you can go with uh, uh, runout or cylindricity uh, or call out. So usually, runout is um, you know easier because you can use that. So just like I said, it, uh, it's it's an analog one. You, you nowadays you can get digital ones, you know, where uh, you can read out everything from a uh, digital uh, uh, you know readout. A, a small LCD screen will be there. then you have concentricity so when you have two uh, you know uh, parallel uh, circles like like this or if you, if you can see here uh, you know then you call it by concentricity two different uh, one big circle and a smaller circle then you uh, you know you can uh, call either ways you know with respect to the big one you can call the smaller one or the, and that depends on your so if um, uh, if your important feature is the bigger one, then you call uh, that, make that as a datum and call with respect to that the smaller ones or, or all the others. The position I said, uh, you know, uh, it's it's based on where the location. Position means location. That is the cross bar, circle with a crossbar on on it. Then symmetricity. Symmetricity means. Um, Basically, how symmetric it is. So you call it with respect to a central line. You know, uh, most parts are symmetric, right? So you you can use that. But uh, it is the uh, least used uh, I have seen. Symmetricity very rarely uh, you you, uh, you know uh, use it. But uh, uh, you know, um, when you have a symmetric feature, it is always better to call uh, you know symmetricity. No no problem in that. In that. And uh, uh, coming to profile, uh, you know, I'll I'll just add uh, something. Uh, 
uh, for example uh, you know many uh, plastic shapes and all uh, it's difficult right just uh, like uh, so something goes on a, on the uh, even uh, the hood of your, or uh, the hood of your uh, uh, car or uh, the bonnet of your car it has a particular shape right so those things and all you can call easily with respect to your profile so uh, you know what so uh, you can nowadays you can use uh, cmm or uh, you can use uh, you know um, uh, um, uh, like a different kind of uh, uh, other methods using light and all uh, you know or even laser uh, uh, you can uh, measure the variation uh, in types and uh, uh, basically in those drawings you 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 uh, excuse me sir. yeah what is it C cmf sense i didn't get it a uh, cmm is the coordinate measuring machine. oh cmm okay, okay. Yeah. coordinate yeah. measuring machine so. yeah uh, i'll show you here i think on i have here. this one basically so basically you have a probe here you know coming it, it may be like inclined or that different probes are there uh, and uh, basically it can go uh, in x direction which is on the bridge and uh, the bridge itself will move uh, back and forth which is the y direction and the c direction or the z direction uh, is the uh, up, uh, up and down uh, motion so uh, uh, and uh, um, your uh, one of your datum will be uh, your uh, the granite uh, you know base plate uh, uh, you know the, or the surface here which is highly uh, precision grounded you know, or uh, you know, uh, it's friendly ground. It's mostly most uh, most of the uh, costlier CMM use the, the granite plate, and uh, then you have you can have other datum surfaces as well, two two perpendicular ones as as you have seen. So that those those are you can use as the reference. But uh, in CMM, uh, you just need to uh, you know if it is a simple part and all, you just need to keep it li like this. And uh, by virtually it, it knows where it's uh, you know other datums. So uh, only in A is uh, you constrain it. And uh, so, you know just keep if it is if if you can keep it just like that flat one, that is fine. You know, you can uh, put a uh, like a kind of a, it's like a bubblegum kind of uh, thing is there. It's it's a kind of a wax actually. So you can uh, stick in there so it won't move. It needs it's this one and it it, it will come comes off easily. It's like kind of a bluish kind of um, you know this one. So that's how we fix it. Or you can use clamps also. Anyway, you can use. So and then uh, this uh, this probe will uh, touch its uh, you know. Uh, portions even if it is circle or something it goes in it goes in and get uh, you know uh, so many readings and then it gets get get it it already knows where it is you know all the uh, uh, the uh, with, with respect to that uh, that is done uh, with you know initially you have to uh, do the uh, what do you call it a, a kind of a uh, I'm, I'm not getting the proper word um, uh, you have to use a uh, basically they use a ball you know either ceramic or highly uh, you know machined or uh, it's mostly it's a ceramic ball that uh, it, it used to uh, calibrate okay that's <laughs> exactly so initially it, it calibrates itself uh, with with with, res with respect to something a ball or something so that it knows uh, especially where it, its thing is located you know then uh, that after that calibration is done then uh, uh, you, you you put your uh, part in there and then it, it measures uh, uh, everywhere so uh, that's what uh, it is um, I think uh, th that's a there is a uh, the same video the YouTube link is also there and uh, these are some of those uh, in i haven't put everything in here uh, because um, it's, it's it's a lot and it will confuse you you know uh, for a you know starter or preliminary you know getting it it and introduce this is enough you know uh, yeah once you uh, uh, start using this uh, symbols and all uh, then you get to that inter intermediate level that gets only through practice 
right so uh, if you, if you uh, you're welcome to practice on your projects or any anything and uh, i i'm happy to help you out you know so i've, I've been seen many drawings and everything and uh, uh, you know um, uh, mostly on the supervision or managerial side uh, so uh, so i have reviewed uh, so many drawings and all uh, so even uh, uh, i have reviewed it for some uh, authorities like fa and all uh, so you know i know uh, uh, things are so um, and uh, only, only after uh, 3 to 5 years uh, you go to an uh, in intermediate level and after that only you get to master master means the high, higher level level of that kind of authority kind of thing right so uh, we we talked about the uh, rule number 1 where we saw the up, upper limit and the lower limit which is controlled by maximum material condition for external features it is the outside one for the internal feature like a whole uh, you know it's the ins inside one it's in the in inside because when you have the smaller hole you will have maximum material in there or the weight will be more right so th that's how uh, the for inside dimensions it is the inner one and the uh, outside dimension it's the out out outer one for max material condition or the maximum material condition and uh, least material condition is the other way you know when when you, the uh, uh, for outer dimension it's the inside one and uh, for uh, the in inner dimensions it's the outside when when you have the maximum uh, uh, diameter al allowed uh, then you have the least weight or the least material that's why it's called least material condition then you have free state uh, something like a gasket or something uh, you, you uh, what it says says is that you have to measure it in a free state I mean, without constraining without constraining uh, you have to measure it. That's what this F uh, with a circle symbol. Then the tangent symbol. And, uh, you know, sup suppose uh, you don't have a perfectly um, flat surface. You know, so uh, you. Uh, this is very rare case situation. The tangent plane is, uh, you know, where you specify a tangent plane which is uh, the the peaks. You know, it, it takes the peaks of this. Uh, 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 this because each uh, uh, if you go more minute case it will have a uh, you know peak and a, a low trough or uh, like that then uh, you know, all the peaks they they take it and make it make it a tangent plane that is called uh, this uh, you know t with with a uh, uh, circle then the diameter symbol i think this is uh, even with limit dimensioning is there then if you have a square uh, then you can mention by square uh, that's square symbol you know, uh, if, suppose this is a square uh, a road or a square pin like that, then you can uh, mention with the, with that square symbol and say that uh, it's uh, one millimeter or uh, not ten millimeter, whatever, like that. And anything within bra brackets, it's called a reference uh, symbol. And uh, two things. I uh, next part I'll, I'll come back. One is reference. Reference is like that. Uh, it's you don't need to uh, you know. Uh, insist on uh, on that dimension. That dimension is just for reference, reference purpose. B basically, it will help the manufacturer to uh, do some calibration or whatever you know, just to uh, you know, just just to rough check uh, what what it is. So that's why you give reference dimension. Usually, it's uh, it's uh, mentioned or the manufacturer or the uh, no, uh, shop floor guy will ask for that. You know, when when you have it in the design review meeting, or oh, oh, please give this dimension. You know, uh, that may be an over dimension, so you don't need to specify. It. So if you are uh, specifying the dimension with limit, that you are over dimensioning, which 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 create problems. You know, so uh, uh, it's a byproduct of uh, some some already specified ones. So just for uh, reference purpose, uh, you put put the reference in there, and if you. Uh, have this uh, arrow with a round in there. That means all around. So I, 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 if I have an arrow, it it's, it specifies only the all the top surface. So if you have an arrow with a round, it means every every everywhere. All I mean everywhere it it goes like that. So uh, typically you call that uh, for uh, like profile and all you know all around profile. You know you 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 call, you call out. So this is how. Um, a typical one where you have uh, 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 you know uh, so many boxes the first one always i think will go this one here first up 
So first one specifies the feature uh, you know measuring what what what, what feature your your flatness uh, you know straightness uh, you know position profile whatever it's in the first box you know we all uh, the, the uh, whatever uh, this feature of or, or of the feature must be within this this is where your dimensions are or the limit uh, you know it, it 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 is it is the plus or minus one you know and then relative to what datum send on. So that, that's how uh, this this is read basically. This this is basically how that language is read. So here it is the position. So this is measured with respect to this uh, 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 dimension or variation, basic basically in diameter. So don't uh, uh, take this as the nominal one. So nominal may be ten or fifteen or whatever like that. In a millimeter and plus, uh, this is plus or minus 0 0.2 in if you add um, phi in there phi means for circle so it means that uh, your uh, envelope is a circular envelope if you don't uh, you can put uh, you know uh, you, you have some square feature and uh, you put position for that you know then uh, if, if the phi is not uh, put put in there it means that you know plus here and Plus uh, up and down and uh, to the left and uh, right, it, it, it's like it's, it's not on the right, on the circle. So if you put circle uh, phi, that means it it means it, it means that it it based on a, a center wherever it is to uh, li the light circle. So you can uh, put phi for a, even a, even for a uh, square hole, right? <clears throat> And uh, this is a modifier, which is a, uh, a maximum material condition. Uh, you can put uh, for the uh, tolerance as well as to the um, um, uh, uh, datums. So this uh, I won't be covering this much, uh, you know, uh, because it's it's on a higher level kind of understanding. So uh, I'll talk uh, about this in in the uh, next one. So how? Uh, Specifying a mod, uh, you know, modifier or a max material condition. If it is uh, least material condition, L, uh, you put L with a circle. So um, those modifiers can give additional tolerances. So what what it means that uh, max material at uh, here I will uh, say in a uh, you know kind of a, a um, briefly. Um, we'll come. We'll come to that later. So if you don't get it, you know, uh, it will. Uh, it, I'll get. You know, uh, cover this again in the next session. Session. So it, it means that. Uh, uh, I, I suppose your, uh, uh, you know, ten uh, is your rate, uh, radius or diameter. So uh, uh, at your maximum um, uh, or material condition, your tolerance is 0 0.2, right? So if you go down like uh, 0.2, like 10 means 10.2. Uh, if it goes to uh, uh, 10, you will get 0.2 as additional tolerance. For each one, you will get additional tolerance. So uh, uh, because this modifier is called out or max material condition is called out, when you go to the least material condition, that is uh, 9.8, you will get the maximum bonus. So that, that that's the uh, meaning in a chunk, basically. So you have primary datum, secondary datum uh, with a modifier and the tertiary datum in there. So you you you, you have all these things, and uh, I'll come back uh, uh, in the next uh, uh, part, basically session. So we we already talked how it's it's means or the language. You know, this with uh, first one is uh, the feature you call out or the form, uh, and then uh, the uh, limits and then the datums. So CMM already seen seen that. Oh, sorry. Now uh, we'll come back to the uh, the previous one here. Here. So now you you know mo most most of those symbols. So uh, you know, data may you uh, you know that datum a uh, uh, is controlled or uh, you control that surface or how uh, give is the how you specify is the flatness so you 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 make make sure so this is how the machine is so she he machines the flat surface and with respect to that everything is controlled <clears throat> and the the quality inspector as well so uh, uh, the uh, the first, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
all these are mainly for uh, the primary data the symbols that controls the form you know profile can be with or without um, data but the, the the related features orientation runout and the location all these things are uh, you have to mention a uh, data okay uh, then you have this limit dimension here uh, you know controlling the uh, uh, diameters and this the position of it you know it's controlled by uh, this perpendicularity here and which again becomes the c data you know then uh, this uh, these two are parallel that's why th you have the parallelism here then the thread uh, there is a position because the position of the thread you know uh, movement with respect to the datum uh, it's it uh, and it, it is controlled with respect to b you know so uh, a is not called out. you can call out a also there there uh, it, it depends on the design intent intent you know uh, a, a, because a, uh, a is controlling b you can uh, Call uh, just by B because uh, thread uh, mostly uh, the or even though orientation can be this one since B uh, B is controlling the perpendicularity you know so uh, you, you you need to control this one this uh, of of that thread basically that that is with respect to B and you, you give, give bonus with with respect to the max material condition and it is a metric thread so m42 thread and the 1.5 is the uh, this thing and 60 that is 60 is the um, uh, basically the tolerance uh, range basically so if you look at the st iso standard you'll or uh, you know the, those standards you will find this uh, uh, what 6g represents you know so the, the, they have um, uh, different si symbols accordingly so um, you know once you uh, if you if you go deep into it you'll 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 uh, understand what what it is then uh, what else uh, yeah the inside uh, uh, hole through hole uh, is the uh, uh, the uh, datum b uh, which is controlled by the profile uh, or sorry uh, run out so it's it's a circular i mean um, uh, or a run out uh, with not total run out you know circular run out so basically it says that uh, uh, you know uh, at each position uh, it, it has to vary with one so uh, uh, suppose uh, that's uh, that's the meaning you know so uh, when you call tot, uh, total uh, run out it means that uh, if you have a high here low here you know these two has to uh, come within uh, the call out that is 0.06 it, it, it's a uh, inch uh, or uh, what do you call it um, uh, it's 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 in uh, the um, uh, what do you call it? it's it's not metric it's it's like the imperial one you know so it's in inches oh sorry uh, i think it's in it's a metric metric one yeah so because i don't have the complete drawing in there so in there so it, it may be like 20 millimeter to or you know uh, like that. It's, it's a met metric one so uh, when uh, typically inches goes to three zeros and all uh, so it's it's like uh, 0 0.06 millimeter and in the, in the drawing sheet in the complete drawing sheet uh, in the box and all you have to mention this these are in um, uh, all dimensions are millimeters all dimensions are in inches whatever uh, like like that so that is important because uh, in, only then you can uh, read out in there so w coming to the run out uh, you know uh, what it means that if, if my variation here is uh, a 0 0.06 and here it's 0 0.06 and 0 0.06 it's fine but uh, here the minimum uh, i measured a minimum here and the maximum here and he, uh, these two places the total variation can go up to point or whatever it is 0.12 uh, or like that so still the part is good because it's asking only for one place that variation so but if you call total run out that means entire uh, this length you cannot vary more than 0 0.06 right so uh, that that's okay so uh, total run out is more a tighter ca uh, case where you have a kind of cylindricity you know that rather than circularity and st uh, straightness you you have more con control in there so so as here you know it's 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 a um, uh, uh, or just run out in there
then uh, the shoulders here uh, you know uh, and what else is there and these are uh, basic um, uh, ones because the, uh, the, anything um, you know within brackets you call it basic why because uh, it, these are the nominal dimensions and this uh, uh, dimension is controlled by this position you know the 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 the, uh, the, uh, the base circle of these all these uh, eight circles are there with respect to the center one is uh, this thing and this can vary uh, plus or minus based on this uh, location so it, it's it's like the say again diameter kind of thing and the angle is also controlled by uh, the, the same position here uh, i'll uh, uh, if you have don't have much any questions i can show you the i think uh, i have it here This is the um, basically uh, the uh, uh, the standard or A ASME 14.5. Why 14.5? You know, so how many pages? Uh, 227 pages are there. So it it, it uh, if you can read this one, you can uh, you can be the master. You know, so everything is in in in, in here. Then uh, you, you can see this. Uh, scope i mean uh, symbol uh, symbology and this thing so uh, typically uh, an intermediate course uh, it i think at least 20 hours you need intermediate course and uh, that's uh, only uh, i would advise or, you know if you have some uh, experience with gdnt because other everything goes away and you know you don't learn and learn much so uh, in, in, and it's very costly also i think uh, uh, in uh, I don't know in India how how much they are charging, but uh, um, in US and all it's like three thousand dollars or four five thousand dollars like that and like that. You know. um, and when I was uh, in Bangalore, uh, I have sent a few of my engineers, but. Um, uh, when they came back and gave me some feedback, uh, uh, they said that uh, uh, <laughs> uh, even though we spend some like uh, for, uh, close to fifty thousand per person, uh, they didn't learn much because uh, what we uh, teach in house is much better than uh, what what they have. But it's like it was a kind of revision to them. So this is the. Uh, Fortunately, I cannot share this one because uh, you know it's copyrighted. So uh, you know, one I have a, a, a copy, but it cannot be shared. So, so it 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 it, it has all the rules and everything. And I think uh, there are certain. Uh, I think you may find it from the internet also, so you can search that. You know, uh, in case you want a copy, I think uh, you can find it in in the internet as well. So everything is mentioned here. Uh, so you know, max, max, I think it's a, there's a chapter for every everything. Uh, so it's it's a lot, you know. So um, what I was uh, talking is like a beginner's level. Uh, from where you can, uh, it's it's a kind of a foundation where you have to add on based on ex experience. So a uh, lot to uh, maybe next time I'll show you some drawings. Um, I think, uh, yeah, this I think I can share. I think it's in, it's it's already in your shared drive. It's already there uh, in under GDNT, uh, or or else I'll, uh, I'll ask uh, Akamsha to share um, this one. So it, it it's a kind of a uh, review on everything what what we uh, you know learned th this one and part one and part two. So if you have any questions, you know you can ask now. Or uh, whatever. Yeah, 
Sir, I suppose uh, we cannot be learned by ourselves, right? I mean, we need to have a lot of practice. I'm sorry. It is not possible to learn with learn by ourselves, right? We need a lot of practice will be required. Uh, yes, sir. you know that's how uh, this one. You know, un unless you practice uh, at at least some, you know, uh, because um, without that, you. you, you uh, you don't know how to because if you are you, you have to start from uh, uh, scratch so it's it's like a language uh, you how much you 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 learn uh, you know you you won't it won't be proper un, unless you practice so it comes with pra some practice i would say so if you, i think you are in the uh, uh, academics so um, i think uh, you can learn from uh, it doesn't mean that you have to design everything you just uh, approach a part by you know uh, just like um, uh, you know whatever first uh, first angle or third angle uh, in uh, uh, india and uh, europe they use first angle and third angle us they always use third angle so um, i i hope you know that that the quadrants you know from uh, first angle is uh, over here and yes. third angle is yes. uh, over here yeah so that's uh, <clears throat> it's just uh, um uh, uh, what do you call it uh, for uh, uh, plan and uh, uh, in elevation it, it will be the same only with the side views it will change you know so uh, the for first angle the this one uh, the on the right side comes on the left and uh, vice versa yeah so um, you, you can st uh, start uh, i was actually thinking to uh, put but uh, put together a, an a ex exercise but uh, uh, that needs kind of a lot of but i can uh, re really help you out if you are interested you know i can uh, give you some handouts and all uh, you can tr uh, try your own and uh, you know uh, you can come back to me or you know like that for Learning. so always i'm you know uh, happy to help help any, any anybody else so uh, so that's why you know without uh, practice uh, you, you cannot go to the intermediate level you know and uh, uh, when i was uh, like uh, in uh, 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 was working for an aerospace company both in the us and later on in, in india and bangalore so uh, basically whenever we hire engineers and all uh, we we always make sure that they have a, a basic foundation or, or or something you know you know you know the symbols and all and, and we give training in house training with the, uh, um, uh, uh, practice so we, we generally give them uh, a few parts to design basically it's reverse engineering and then uh, they slow, slowly come up uh, uh, with the help of senior engineers. That's that's how it works. So we have a, a in-house training program which uh, takes uh, uh, two to three years. You know, so we used to have a bond for three years because of this. Because uh, once you learn uh, this one, even though we give like twenty percentage hike every year, um, and people will jump up. You know what happens is that the other companies will get them uh, in, initially offer them the 40 to 60 percent hike and thereafter they won't get, get any hike and so many come back later on you know so it's a uh, gdnt is very uh, uh more, it's, it's a kind of mostly wanted kind of things in many fields you know and uh, typically companies will ask for um, uh, experience uh, in gdnt but uh, we found that uh, the kind of GDND we use, uh, it's better to uh, train a person from scratch rather than because uh, so, uh, with other companies they will have some kind of a, uh, uh, you know uh, misconceptions and all, uh, which is hard to get away, you know. So unless they are very good, you know, uh, and all. So it's like that. And uh, uh, regarding quality engineers, I have uh, experience that. Uh, this um, what do you call it? Uh, IT ITI guy, right? Uh, they they uh, teach uh, uh, good uh, GDNT. I mean, relatively good. So, uh, uh, for, uh, by training a um, uh, B Tech guy or a uh, Polytechnic guy, ITI guys were uh, smarter when in comes up comes to measuring. If they are smart enough, you know, they know uh, they they adapt to a GDNT better 
and because they are used to most of the thing and they, they can think based on what they are measuring you know so the, the iti guys have a lot of practical uh, skills and up, approach in there in there the, and uh, even polytechnic i think they cover uh, uh, GDND a little bit, uh, I mean most of, but uh, only in uh, uh, bachelor or, or uh, you know degree. Uh, I, th I think it it should be made a must. Uh, like uh, uh, you have, uh, I think uh, there are two machine design, right? Uh, when I was a student, I think you have the uh, ge uh, geometric uh, or uh, engineering. Uh, design or one and then two machine design classes but another one should be there for gd and all you know so it, 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 it makes really helps them out uh, to to that uh, level because uh, uh, anybody coming uh, fresh to this one it's everything goes over the head so when they uh, see the a drawing and all they cannot identify anything at all so they, they get you know so <laughs> some of them get scared so that's what it's it's nothing that you understand those uh, uh symbols and it's just a uh, uh, um, communication tool you know uh, better than uh, rather than something imposing or you know like that so uh, if you don't have any other, we will continue. I think uh, Akamsha will send you a, uh, one for the next uh, part two, maybe uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, whenever it is, you know. And uh, I'll uh, uh, try to show more drawings then, you know. So I have uh, any questions? Okay then, you know. Thank, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you for your session. You. I hope everybody understood um, clearly. Oh. thank you, sir. So you are uh, you, uh, you are watching it second time or it's the first time for you? I am actually watching it for second time. I'm just posting okay. it since. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. So it it, it you know, super embosses the other and I. Yes, yes. Exactly. So you, you can ask. Uh, you know, you may have some questions next time or yes, part yes, two sure, and sure. you can ask yeah. those. You know. So uh, yeah. So I'll I'll try to uh, come with some of the some. Uh, I'll show you some uh, um, uh, drawings and all. But uh, you know. I, I cannot give you because they they are they have copyrights and all. So they, they are, those, those are from aerospace and all. So I'll show you some okay. of those. I, I, today I don't have it uh, in here. So I'll get That's get fine. you the you know, show you those things. Okay. So, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks everyone for attending the class. Will be. Akansha ma'am will be uh, intimating you regarding the next classes.